morning. <laughs> You'll never guess what's for breakfast. Yep, bananas. <laughs> hey, so I had two bananas and I've been sipping on my water and editing videos, doing some work, being very loungy. <laughs> and I finally pulled myself out of bed and sliced up a mini watermelon. So I'm going to eat all of this for breakfast. Mid-morning breakfast? Mmm. Yeah. Breakfast in bed. And just like that, all the melon is gone and in my belly. Hey, all right, I'm having a small lunch. Uh, not much has changed. I'm still in the um, PJs and in bed, but I have been getting up to eat. I made a salad this time. Same bowl, different meal. This time it's just red leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, cucumber, a whole tomatoes in there, some mushrooms, and some sunflower sprouts. I topped off the salad with some vegan ranch and I had a little leftover of the Thousand Island dressing I made the other day. So I'm gonna dive into that. Oh, and I sprinkled quite a few sunflower seeds on there. Mm -hmm. And I made sure I put my uh, the kelp on there and some salt and pepper. I've just been on the computer all day looking for boy names. Me and my husband really liked a name, but I swear I heard it five times yesterday morning. And I'm like, nope, we can't do it. We got to pick a different one. But I think I got a good one. Mushroom. That was filling and satisfying. <sighs> Back to searching for names. Hello. Oh, kind of changed outfits, but it's still PJs. It's just been a lot of online research for names and editing videos and then can you believe it the very next day i get another youtuber that's not vegan so i'm watching all those comments and reading up on that right now but i did have a little bit of this it's a dairy free sorbet sherbet i don't know how you say it but it's good probably had like half a cup I'm just gonna fill you in on my day a little bit. I haven't left my room at all just to go grab snacks. It started off on the internet looking up name, baby boy names, and then I got a text that, go check out this video, another YouTuber isn't vegan anymore, and she was one that I followed very closely. Even paid for memberships for things, so I'm pretty hurt and upset that, you know, being lied to. Um, so I'm a little emotional and so I'm an emotional eater. I ate the whole bag. That is not part of the raw vegan food challenge, but I'm just letting you know I'm human. I ate a whole bag of chips, but I let my emotions get the better of me. I can't believe another big YouTuber down. There's so much evidence showing what she's doing is not gonna help. But I'm just gonna keep trucking along. Hey, I almost forgot to film that <laughs> I was eating dinner. I went, to, I had to go to the grocery store and get some stuff. Oh, oh, and I showered but it's just some stir fry. It's like 
rice, tofu, um, onions, mushrooms, and broccoli. I just saute, I didn't even saute the broccoli. I just turned off the stove and put a, the lid on it so it's not cooked that, that much for the broccoli and mushrooms. And then I just put um, liquid aminos on it. I'm already in the bowl too. So I almost forgot to record that. Hello. So I only had like a like two bowls. I'm trying to think. I kept adding stuff randomly. So like two bowls of the stir fry. Um and when my husband came home, we just kept talking about the two YouTubers that we follow that stopped going vegan. Ravana and um Alyssa from Raw Alignment. Um, they were pretty important people that I followed on YouTube and, you know, even spent money on some of their programs about veganism. So I'm pretty upset and I wanted to get, um, I was kind of fueled by the fire. So we watched a documentary called Dominion it's very similar to earthlings um i could only sit through an hour and i had to step away uh it's hard to see what happens to billions of animals every year all over the world and those major influencers why i'm so upset about vegans going back to meat is they know better. They know what happens to these animals compared to people that aren't vegan. Um, before I was vegan, I had no idea what these animals' lives were like, what they went through. I just thought they lived on this pretty farm and had a pretty easy death. I actually never really thought about their death. I just ate this prepackaged meat that looked that didn't look like an animal. And now I know. Now I see what they they their lives are. I I get sick watching the videos. I cry. And so for people like that that know better to and have a huge following to just go back to murder. Yeah. I'll always be vegan. And there is no way putting death and murder in your body is going to cure anything just short term on that note I don't have an appetite after watching what I've seen um, I'm just gonna sip some water and reflect and keep going keep spreading the vegan word have a good night.